Good morning. The last few weeks have been kind of challenging. There's a few reasons that it's been challenging. One is that it's February and it's pretty cold to work outside in Washington state. It's been like in the 40s. My hands get cold, I get cold, I have to go inside and warm up and it gets dark around 5 p.m. right now. I think in hindsight, building the van in the summer might be a good idea, um, but I really wanted it to be done by summer so I can go have fun in it. And yeah, another challenging part has just been that I have this story in my head that I don't know how to build anything and I just don't have the confidence to figure out the build by myself and plan it. I don't wanna mess it up. I think when I started off the process last week with the insulation kill mat, I was like, oh, I got this. And this week, I feel like I hit a different level of that, of being like, oh, I actually I actually don't know how to do any of this. And I have to like start from the bottom and learn. That being said, I know I can do it. <laughs> I just have to keep putting the time in. Let's get to it. And I will show you what we've done and then what I'm gonna work on today. <laughs> Time for a little update of what we've done so far in the van the last few weeks. We installed the subfloor and then this is where the battery is gonna go down here. Today I'm working on the other side. Getting a template cut right here. This side right here. This side's gonna be just storage for like shoes and getting in and out of the van but I actually want the floor of the van to extend past where we have it right now. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get the subfloor farther out. Yeah, I guess this is my first unmonitored building experience. Here we go. So when I was laying out this template, I realized that it could be all the same piece of wood all the way across because I'm trying to figure out how to fill in this gap. So now I gotta run to the hardware store and get 5 eighths plywood. The wood just barely fit in the freaking van. <laughs> so I was watching Princess Bride last night and I haven't seen it since I was a kid and something that really struck me was that Buttercup is constantly getting in trouble and constantly needing to be saved by her man's Wesley. I'm a little bit bummed because I know that that's the classic movie line that were shown as kids. That narrative of the woman needs to be saved by a man. She cannot fend for her own in this scary world like she's not strong enough. And that is f We're freaking humans. We're so strong. We've evolved for thousands and thousands and millions of years. How did we get to this point where we say that women aren't as strong as men? My point is, no matter how I feel about that, I still believe it because it's I've been conditioned my entire life. I still believe that story. And a huge part of this van build for me is freaking pushing through the barriers. I'm taking initiative today. Also, the guy at the hardware store went to go ask his buddy to help load the plywood, and I was like, no, I got it. Like, I can lift a piece of plywood. Long story short, plywood acquired. Women are not weaker than men. Time to build my van. Okay, it's officially starting to rain, but I made my template that's kind of made this insane cut on here. I am feeling pretty nervous about this because it's a big cut. There's Errol. Errol, it's Jana. It's mom. It's a big cut and I haven't cut with the jigsaw that much. Time to see if our piece of wood fits. Eh. Let's see. Not quite. Alright, let's see if I can sand some of this off. Closer. 
so the next project I'm trying to tackle is how to cover up this wire down here because this is going to be a storage area if I'm throwing down heavy boots or heavy stuff I don't want the wire to get crushed so I'm gonna try to build a platform out of wood that would lift it up just like two inches lift the floor up so I'm gonna make a template I would say overall I'm super proud of myself. I started out today feeling really frustrated. I brought it all back and just proved to myself I can use the saw without supervision, which is huge, and even created my own little template and made my own floor area. Good way to end the day.